Good morning, everyone. My name is Ryan Coleman, and I'm the director of economic development for the city of Columbia. And thank you all for coming out uh, to the official grand opening of Sunrise Cafe here in downtown Columbia. Uh, it may be a uh, cold, wet, rainy day outside here in the city of Columbia, but the sun is definitely shining here for this new business opening down here in the Main Street District. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce of our order of speakers for this morning. Um, first off, we'll have some remarks from Mr. Matt Kennel, President and CEO of the Main Street District. He'll be followed by our Councilwoman, Dr. Oddity Bustles, on behalf of the City of Columbia, and then our featured guest of today, Mr. Johnny Davis, the owner of Sunrise Cafe. And with that, I'll turn it over to you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ryan, and again, welcome to the Main Street District. We are just so excited today uh, to celebrate uh, Mr. and Mrs. Davis and their new restaurant, uh, Sunrise Cafe. Uh, it, it is not only about the restaurant, it's about the people. It's about the people that own the restaurant, it's about the people that work at the restaurant, it's about the people that eat at the restaurant uh, that make this really special, and we're just so glad that you could be with us today. And his timing is excellent. As downtown and Main Street expands to the north, uh, with all the great things happening in uh, Bull Street, uh, Elmwood Avenue, and the north Main Street area, um, this just connects. We're all about connecting. We're about connecting the different districts and bringing our city together. We truly are a one Columbia, and it's, it's really exciting uh, to see all this together and see the development that started down at the State House pushing, pushing, pushing north and connecting into uh, Columbia's great neighborhood. So we're just so excited about that. We're also excited, I'm not gonna tell the story, I'll let others tell the story uh, of Mr. Davis, uh, Johnny Davis and, and his, his uh, journey uh, to get here and open up this restaurant and, and now to give back, uh, to, to, to have a beautiful place and to give back to the community in so many ways. And in particularly at this time of year, uh, we're just thankful for that and thankful for all of you. And speaking of thankful, we're really thankful for uh, Ryan and the city council and for all the support they give to business in this area. Uh, one of our most dynamic uh, councilwomen is Dr. Oddity Bustles, and we are just so excited that she can be here today and make a few remarks. So on that, uh, Dr. Bustles. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Matt, for that introduction. It is an honor to be here with you, Mr. and Mrs. Davis, because this is more than a restaurant. It is symbolizing the beginning of providing opportunities to people that just need a second chance. And you'll hear a little bit more about, you know, um, Johnny's story, but I want to share that, you know, City Council has been working extremely hard to find ways to address some of our most vulnerable populations, including those that are unsheltered. And we've learned very quickly that it's you're just one decision or one, you know, random act in your life away from being homeless. And to be able to have an opportunity to get back up on your feet, to be to have an opportunity to connect with resources, to have an opportunity for people to believe in you is especially important as you deal with a lot of co-occurring issues like mental illness or substance use or other types of you know factors that make getting out of homelessness complicated. So when I heard that Sunrise Cafe was opening, not only was I excited that we get breakfast all day because I can eat breakfast for dinner, I don't know about you, but I was also extremely touched by this story that led us to where we are today. And so if there's one thing that you all do, and I'm seeing our Main Street ambassadors, I'm seeing city staff, reporters, I want you to go back today and tell someone about this cafe. Tell them about what the story is behind this and why we need to support this great biz business. And not only is it a business on Main Street, I'm very proud that it is a black-owned business on Main Street. And I think that that's particularly important as well as we think about equity in our community. So I'll pass it over to Mr. Johnny and his wife, but I just want to say congratulations. In the two minutes that I talked to you, I realized what an incredibly inspiring person that you are, and you are going to help so many people. And I promise you that the community will do their part as well and get folks here to eat some delicious liver pudding. So <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting me. 
thank, first of all, I'll give thanks to my creator. I want to thank Mr. Kinsey and the mayor's office for their unwavering support. They was here the whole time trying to get everything together. The Main Street District also comes in, patronize, and help me in any way I can. I want to thank those little guys that work on the street are real good. And I really appreciate them stopping in in the morning, talking in the afternoon. Also, the people that is unsheltered, that I hired, people from the halfway house, people who have had difficulty, but they are employed, and I'm trying to help them. Because I came here in 1984, walking the streets, Assembly Street. I used to stay in the old Salvation Army when it was on Assembly Street. Hide my clothes behind the CNS building, a bank building when it was on the parking lady. So I know what they had done. The infinity building down there, I helped put that up. That's when my first job started. So I'm not new to difficulty. I've been to prison, I was strung out on drugs, and I started back over. It's hard, but I can do it. And I believe in it. But the key thing that I want everyone to know, give somebody a chance. I was locked up in prison, President Obama signed my papers. I want to thank him, he said there are going to be a lot of doubters. But I bid you Godspeed. You can do it. If the President of the United States, the former President of the United States, believed in me, I got to believe in myself. Amen. And I rise up. I got my criminal justice degree in criminal justice. I'm 100 percent. I'm a veteran. I've been in the United States Navy. I talked to veterans out of the VA hospital. I went to their program as a a uh, uh, work study program, I ended up being a supervisor out there and mentoring people that other veterans that came in. It's not difficult. Only thing it is, you got to open your heart. Because I know deep down inside, everybody wants to help. You can't pick and choose, you never know. When the homeless guys come by here and they stop and say, I can, yeah, come to work the next morning. I don't care where you came from. If you want a job and you want to work, I want to hire you. And I got a good staff working back there with me. I don't have a problem with it. But the key thing we must understand, you got two choices and I was just explaining that. Bitter or better, anybody can be bitter. But to be better, you got to think better, you got to start to doing better. It starts up here. That's what I tell all of them that come here. I can't make you work, but I can give you an opportunity to work and be someone. And like I say, I don't do it in a braggadocious way. I want them to understand I've been where you've been. We go and we forget about people. But at the end of the day, let's just reach out and help people. I don't care what color they are or what. I don't care who you are. Because nobody didn't pick and choose me. They decided to help me. And I had to help myself. And I am good. I'm in a good place. And I want to thank the Main Street District. I want to thank the mayor's office. Because and Mr. McKenzie, I made one call, and he got it done. And I want to thank every one of y'all for supporting. I want to thank you, too. Of course, I know I better do that. <laughs> but most of all, thank everybody for everything they've done, and thank you for being here this morning. Well, he said enough, and I want to thank everyone for coming, and I thank everyone for all the support, and please continue to, to support us. Thank you. Thank you.